12.11 modeling with the differentiation we can uh, we can take uh, dy by dx as uh, rate of change of y with respect to x assume it is uh, ds over dt this s is displacement and uh, t is time then rate of change of s with respect to s what is the rate of change of uh, displacement with respect to time that is velocity what is the rate of change of uh, velocity with respect to time that is acceleration rate of change of uh, v with respect to t so this is uh, this is the rate of change of s with respect to t now my next question is uh, to find rate of change against y with respect to x what do you need usually uh, relationship with y and x if we have relationship with y and x like this if you know x value when you x square and multiply by 2 2 x square you will get the y the relationship then uh, you can find y respect to rate of change of y with respect to x is o x if we have a relationship between s equal 3t square then you can find uh, ds over dt rate of change of uh, distance displacement with respect to time this is 60 likewise now assume that you have a area a of a circle is 5 r square then area and the uh, radius so rate of change of area with respect to radius you can find so differentiate so 2 phi r r differentiate uh, become 2 r i'll do like this phi we like as it is then 2 times r 1 2 phi r to find the rate of change so we need a relationship basically so here y equal to a is equal 3 to square a equal 5 r square sometimes they will give spread uh, the relationship 4 over 3 uh, 5 r cube then they will ask what is the this is volume and this is the radius rate of change of volume with respect to radius o over 3 5 differentiate 3 r square which is 4 5 r square so it, if the relationship is given it is just a same differentiation sometimes it will not give straight so then you have to find the relationship it's not differentiation it is uh, problem solving uh, sometimes it's not straightforward uh, like example 22 in the book so you want to find the volume and the uh, uh, volume with respect to the height of the tank 
so v is volume x is the height of the tank but they don't give a relationship so now we the, instead of that uh, relationship in the sense in equations so we need to find the equation like this uh, to work so they gave some information few data so we have to build up the equation in here they said that okay large tank and uh, it's a cuboid and uh, opposite side are squares opposite side are square so the, this one and this one square they give total area total area is 54 square meter so this height is x it means this one is also x now we need to find the relationship between v equal to something volume then we can find in terms of x then the, i can find dv over dx now what are the information uh, what information is available first of all i will write the equation for volume of a cube so they have this is x okay i will take this is uh, l so the volume is x times x times l height width and the length so basically x square l now uh, they have given another information the total area is 54 so now we want to use that as l v equal x square times l because l i want to get rid of l i can't see in the question number eight uh, part a in this one so how i'm going to get rid of l so we need another equation then we can substitute so to build up that equation they gave some other um, information so how do we find the area so this is square is x square and other side is x square and this length is uh, x times l x times l this side area so likewise how many areas like that four areas four xl it mean uh, two x square and four xl cover whole area that whole area is equal to 54 now to we have two equations including l so i can get rid of l so i will make l as a subject here l is 54 minus 2 x square then l is 54 minus 2 x square divided by 4 x now we'll substitute that one v equal x square 54 minus 2x square divided by 4x so v equal this x to cancel out then uh, i will expand uh, 54x minus 2x square over 4 which is 54x over x minus 2x square over sorry 4 and 4 so this is 54 divided by 2 27 over 2x minus half x square I said the requirement uh, now I'm I misread this sum in here they are saying that there is no uh, there is no top it means this value has to be not four side three so three excel so this has to be 3 because it is open so then this is going to be 54 this is 3xl 
and then 54 divided by 3 and uh, 54 divided by 3 and this is 3 and Let's work out, uh, there we get the answer. So 54 divided by 3, so 18x minus uh, 2 over 3 x square. Yes, that's the answer. So we got relationship now, V and, uh, so V equal, 18x minus 2 over 3x square. Now I can simplify the rate of the change, rate of change of volume with respect to height, dv over dx. So dv over dx. So what is the dv over dx? That is going to be 18 minus 2 over 3 times 2x, which is... Uh, 18 minus 4 over x over 3. This is uh, x times x square x cube. x cube. So I'm making x cube and this is uh, this is going to be 3 x square. 3 to 3 cancel out. As a result uh, 8 minus 2x square. Now when you consider here, there is only a level part is differentiation. This bit. Apart from that, this is not a level. This is a level knowledge. This is a level 12. You have some information you want to develop to equations. Uh, so dv over dx is 18 minus 2x square and the graph is v equal 18x minus uh, 2 over 3x square. So now this is you can see a quadratic equation and this is going to be a minimum or maximum. So it has a maximum. Because a value is, uh, now this is x, x and uh, x and v, v is volume. Now assume that if, if you have some uh, kind of materials uh, to make, okay, say that uh, if somebody is given, to make a tank uh, with square so somebody is given a metal sheet with 54 square centimeter to make a tank so then one person assume for two person one person pick up x is uh, three another person x equal four Likewise, if you pick up different, different, uh, different, different uh, lengths, what will happen? You can see, you can get the volume. If x equal uh, three, you will get this volume. If you get x equal four, and this is assuming this value, this value, right? If you get the this value, what will happen? You get the maximum volume. So, if a student somehow he found out, so I want to cut the height of tank or this the square length is for this value. So he's a smart student because then only he can maximize the volume. So what is the simple technique for that? Get the dy by dx. Now we got dv over dx. Right? Then how do you find maximum and minimum value? Make it equal to 0 for find the stationary point. Then 18 minus 2x square equals 0. So 2x square equal 18 
and x square equal 9 x equal plus or uh, minus 3 so x is a length length can't be negative then x has to be 3 now if you take x over 3 you will get the maximum volume if you take any other value than 3 you will get less vo volumes by looking at this one we know this is a maximum but uh, we need to we need to prove as well so we'll get the double differentiation dv over dx d square over dx uh, square which is minus 4x now when x equal 3 d square over dx square is because this is the value station value minus 4 times 3 minus 12 less than 0 hence x equal minus 3 this value x equal uh, 3 is a x equal 3 is a maximum It's very simple. If you take any other value than 3, you, your volume will get low. 